Hello, Critter Protectors, Mr. Jim here, and welcome to Kids Animal Stories, a place where there's always a mystery and adventure around every single corner. If you love critters of all shapes and sizes, I need you on our Critter Protector team. Join our adventure as we learn about critters from around the world and in our backyards. Well, my friends, are you ready for today's adventure? Me too! Let's go! As we heard on the first episode, Turbo the Little African Elephant and his herd were on a humongous journey. They were migrating with their friends, the wildebeest and zebras, like they always did every year. Their migration had taken them far, far away to a beautiful oasis filled with delicious food and mm, the best water. Have you ever heard of an oasis before? It's like a special place. And this oasis was like paradise for the African animals. The only problem was they had a long way to go through tough terrain with dangerous predators lurking around every corner. After a close call yesterday with a group of lions, the herd had found a safe place to sleep. But the following morning, bright and early, they were headed out towards their paradise oasis. And were their problems awaiting? Hmm, I don't know, but let's find out. Mom, are we there yet? Asked Turbo as they hiked along a grassy path. Oh, Turbo, we aren't even close. His mother was kind of sad sounding as she broke the news to him. Turbo had never been on a journey like this. We have a long way to go, Turbo. But today, we should reach our first waterhole stop. It will feel nice to get a fresh drink. Turbo used this as his motivation. He walked and walked all day. Ooh, that's a lot of walking. And by evening, he could see a hole. The only thing was, this hole most definitely didn't have any water. The adults chatted together and Turbo laid his head down on the dry dirt. Oh, he sighed. Zara and Wally, his friends from the zebra and wildebeest herds, hung their heads too. All Turbo had thought about all day was this refreshing cold drink of water. Now they were left to rest in dusty remains. What are we going to do without water? cried Zara. I just, what do I do? I, I can't go on. I need water. Wally chimed in. They were all very sad. Then Turbo's dad spoke up in his usual encouraging tone. Gather round, herd. Turbo's dad called out. He was a good leader and liked to try and make sure everyone knew he had a plan, even when things went wrong. We faced a challenge today, with our water hole being completely dry. Try your best to get some rest, and we will head east tomorrow towards another place that should have water. Turbo was happy there was a plan, and he tried to get some sleep. And the next day, he forced himself to stand up and keep on walking. Do you think you could do that? Do you think if you were marching across oh, a savanna without any water, do you think you could keep going? I don't know if I could. <laughs> I think elephants are built a little bit better for that than me and you. One, two, three, four. Turbo counted his steps to keep his mind off his thirst. His mom and dad kept saying the new water hole wasn't too much further. Turbo was getting excited and he now had a little bit more energy. 
However, oh dear, his joy was short lived. The herd soon discovered that the area was inhabited by a dangerous predator. <gasps> what do you think it is? It's not lions. What's another kind of dangerous African predator? Mm, not uh, uh, hyenas. Yep, you nailed it. Hyenas! The hyenas started circling the group with their hungry eyes fixed upon their prey. Stay together and don't panic, shouted Turbo's dad. We can fend them off if we work together. The group formed a tight circle with the elephants using their trunks to create a barrier like a wall, while the zebras and wildebeest darted in and out, keeping watch and kicking up dust to confuse the hyenas. Turbo tried to help, but he stayed inside the protective circle like he was supposed to. Finally, the hyenas were too tired and confused by all the dust. They couldn't see anything and ran off with a yelp. <laughs> That's hilarious. I didn't know that hyenas would be scared off by dust. Wow, maybe it was like hard for them to breathe and see. So, yeah, I guess that makes sense. That I guess if we're stuck inside of a wall of elephants and there's hyenas surrounding us, you just kind of get a little dusty, kick up some dirt, and that'll scare them away. Just down a small hill was the water hole. And it actually had water. Oh. Everyone drank up and splashed around. This little stop gave them the energy they needed to finish the journey and make it to the oasis. And after another long, long week, they reached their destination, a lush green paradise that promised tons of food and water. Yes. Oh, I think we made it, guys. I can smell the water from here. Turbo was eager and excited to finally be at their final destination. For hours, Turbo splashed around and watched as all his friends enjoyed their little piece of paradise. He thought some more about their journey, the predators, and dried up water hole. Oh, but how much determination it actually takes to migrate. Wow. Even though it was hard, possibly even the hardest thing he's ever done, it was so worth it. Wow, that's a pretty awesome lesson to learn. Even though Turbo and his friends, they went on this very hard journey. Like, it was like the hardest thing they did. When they finally reached their goal of paradise, it was totally worth it. So, hmm, I wonder. You know, sometimes if we have to do something really hard, do you think it might be worth it? Me too. Well, that may be the end of our story, but only just the beginning of the amazing adventures that lie ahead for Turbo the Elephant and his friends. The end. It's time for some Critter Protector shoutouts. I want to say hey to Aziza from New York, Ellie Tobias and Ian from Kansas, Heston from Texas, Emily, Luke, and Daniel from Florida, and Fitzgerald from Minnesota. I'm so glad that you're all critter protectors. We could not protect all the critters in the world and in our backyards without you, my friends. Well, you have a super duper day, and I'll see you on our next adventure. Bye!